many of us, it has taken years to build up a digital music library. You combine your old-fashioned CDs with digital music purchases, get it just perfect. But a local 10 viewer says his expensive music library was ruined by Apple's iMatch service. Yeah, so he called Christina for help, and she found he's not the only customer with these complaints. Here's her report. I like finding music basically that you wouldn't normally hear on the radio. Music is more than a hobby for this South Florida CEO. It is a passion. It's taken me 20 years to compile this music library, which contains over 8,000 songs. For 20 years, Paul Cutler has carefully curated his collection. Thousands of songs hand-selected from several different sources. He spent hours rating them, setting up playlists. When he spotted Apple's iMatch service. I've always thought of my iTunes library as being something that was very secure because it's by Apple. It did the complete opposite. He claims the $25 service scrambled his library. You have a lot of music you can't play. Songs went missing. There were duplicates of others. There's 5,000 duplicates. iTunes Match is a service that stores your music in the cloud that makes that service available on all your devices. It's also been the source of complaints to include on the company's own support community forums. Last summer, a Verge article posted that Apple has an iCloud problem, writing, quote, iTunes Match has been one of Apple's more flawed cloud services for a few years now. It's a disaster. While Apple rolled out a fix to address the bugs in the system, people continue to take to social media, complaining of duplicates and songs that won't play. Their solution is for me to re-download all the music. I've received no apology, and I've received no offer for any type of credit. But it's completely understandable why Paul is upset with Apple. That's Ken Colburn of Data Doctors, an Arizona-based data recovery and computer repair company. And Apple's gone through various versions of their music service, uh, and as they transition from service to service, that's where most people are having a problem. Over the years, I've rated all of these tracks. The ratings, the playlists, these are not small things things. These are not very easy to replicate. It really becomes impractical to even use the library. So what we can all learn from this is don't assume just because a music service says, hey, we can bring all that stuff over, that it's going to work. Ken recommends backing up your music and understanding the risk of switching services, be it Apple or another service provider. He says the likelihood of getting everything exactly the way it was before could be pretty low. Apple declined comment for this story, but a company spokeswoman did provide links to Apple support forums on the issue. Issue. We have posted those for you on the Call Christina page of local10.com. In the newsroom, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.